Hello and welcome to microcontrollerboard.com. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a new project with MPLAB ID. I'm assuming you have downloaded and installed MPLAB ID and HiTech compiler. If not, please visit microcontrollerboard.com. Click on Development Tools, and if you scroll down. There is a link to download the MPLAB ID from Microchip and also a link to download HiTech C compiler. Both are for free. Okay, so we're gonna create a project. We're gonna click on Project, Project Wizard. Click Next on a welcome screen. From the drop down menu, we will select a device which are we working with. Uh, the EDU PIC board comes with PIC 16F877A. Uh, I'm going to click Next. Uh, since we install high tech uh, tools, we just want to click it. Compiler, Next. Create new project file. We're going to browse to the folder uh, where I wanted to create. Usually it's under MP Projects and serial communication and the f and we're going to call this serial communication also save next uh, in the future in in step number four if you want to add any of the files that you already work on you just click the file and you can just edit in my case we're just going to continue because i don't want to add any files Next, in a summary, please confirm the device and that you chose finish. So now we have a <coughs> project called Serial Communication. We're going to add a new SIF file. Uh, I already have this ready right here, so just copy and paste. And we're gonna save this file as under serial communication folder. I'm gonna call this also serial com dot c save. Now remember, since we're working with high tech compiler, uh, our file needs to start with include pick dot h. This is the requirements. And then we write a small program, which I explain on my website also, microcontrollerboard.com. So now let's compile the file, make sure there is no errors, and we have one failed. No file argument. Okay. If you have this error message, what happens is we need to add this file to the project. So we go back to the project, right click and click add to the project now if we compile the error should be disappearing okay here we go bit successful uh, so after we successfully build the project if we look at the folder we created we should have couple files but the most important file is the hex file which in uh, next tutorial I will show you how to upload this file to the PIC 16F877A and you can use it alright any questions please uh, contact me at microcontroller board feel free uh, thank you